guys, welcome to the threshing floor. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what we do uh, curriculum wise in our homeschool for our soon to be six year old and our newly eight year old um, for Bible study. Now we have done um, quite a few different things over the years. Last year we did a little bit of apologetics, but um, and you can find that on our channel as well some of the lessons there and we might go back to that but um, life just got a little bit crazy as it, as did everybody's year this last year um, and so we haven't gotten back around to that we decided to go with something just a little bit more simple and straightforward right now um, and so what we've been doing um, we started this last year and it's carried over into this homeschool year is BJU um, which is Bob Jones University um, BJU Press is Bible Truths, and we're doing level one together as a family. My children are really beyond this, but for days when things get crazy, and um, it's just, it's simple is better. It helps to keep us in the Word uh, when we don't overcomplicate things. And so while these worksheets are super simple, um, we do a lot more in-depth conversation when we read the passage um, and so it just it works really well for us right now I look forward to um, probably using this curriculum more and more uh, as we go through uh, each level that they have for it so uh, each level I believe I'm not sure what else they come with but we have just the teacher's manual which is right here. It's very nice, high quality. All of the BJU Press curriculums are very high quality. Uh, they are expensive, but you don't always necessarily have to have all of the components for it. Originally, I when I started out, I was using the teacher's manual a lot more. Uh, it comes with a lot of extra things that you can do. And just over time, I realized that we didn't need all the bells and whistles and we just do the simple lessons and it's very edifying and we really enjoy it. Kids absolutely look forward to it and ask for it. It's very engaging and we have a lot of really good discussions because it's very straightforward. You do, uh, the way that we do it at least, is we just read the Bible passage that is located on each, so it also comes with a student workbook. This is level one, which is titled A Father's Care, and so that's the focus there. Uh, each level has a different focus and a different theme. Uh, we go through, and depending on what lesson we are on, up in the top corner of the worksheet, it will have uh, the passage, like this one is titled God is in Control. And it is Genesis 40, verses 1 through 41, and verse 45. Uh, and so, I apologize. That is Genesis 40, verse 1, through Genesis 41, verse 45, which is quite a large chunk. Yesterday, we read, I think, two chapters in Genesis, uh, Genesis 37 and 38, or something like that. Uh, it was quite a big chunk. But it was, and we read a large chunk of scripture, and then it was just a very simple worksheet, just a few questions and answers that we did, but it prompted a lot of good discussion. And we didn't get bogged down in like this huge in depth thing because they're six and eight. Um, but we were able to have as in depth of a conversation as they were capable of going and, uh, and, it was really wonderful. They greatly enjoyed it and they got to ask a bunch of questions that weren't on the paper. There was a lot of just discussion around what we had read. So we really enjoyed doing that. So something great about the Bible Truths is the way that it's laid out, it has eight units, or no, I'm sorry, it has 10 units. Uh, one of which is a Easter edition, one of which is a Christmas edition, specifically. And we did the Christmas one this last Christmas, and it was it was really nice. Um, we're looking forward to doing the Easter one very soon. And so it has uh, eight, 10 units, and they are color-coded. 
So this, this lesson unit has a, a red, and then the next unit after that has a blue at the top, and then the next one after that has orange. And there's purple and all kinds of colors. It's color-coded to help you track which um, unit you are in. And then it also has something that we have really enjoyed. We're not currently doing it just because our schedule has been very wonky and we're still trying to get into a good rhythm, but uh, actually you can see it over here, just over my shoulder. Uh, the kind of tan colored paper is actually the last hymn that we learned with um, the previous unit. And we really enjoyed that. And so each unit actually comes with a hymn that you can learn with it. And they are removable. They are in the children's workbook uh, and they are completely removable. So you just tear them out. And they are just the lyrics. I believe when you get into starting with grade two or possibly grade three, they actually have sheet music with it. It's not just the lyrics, which is very exciting because we are learning to play the piano and hopefully one day we could do that together as a family. And that would be just wonderful. And so I look forward to that. Um, so each, each unit has a hymn that you can learn alongside it. And it also has um, separately for sale, they actually have each level for the hymns that you learn. They have a CD that you can um, purchase for, I think, 10 or $20, something like that. We didn't do that. Uh, we just use YouTube or we kind of make up our own kind of rhythm and just sing it, you know, as it feels natural to sing it. I don't sing very well, so you aren't going to catch me doing that on here for you guys. Um, but it is very enjoyable. Now, the actual teacher edition, the lesson plans are very in-depth. Um, and like I said, they ended up being a touch too complex for us at the time. But there's a lot of ways that you can kind of shape it and mold it and work it to fit your family. Like I said, right now we're just in bare bones which is just Bible reading and discussion and worksheet because that's just what we need to do right now in this season. Um, and so, but there for a while, we were doing the full scope lesson and um, it's very in-depth. It has um, extra activities that you can do. It starts with you it, and the teacher's edition is fantastic. If you really want a step-by-step -step lesson to follow um it is it, it goes in great detail for me it ended up being a little bit too much uh, but again like i said you can change that up to whatever fits your family so in the teacher's manual you will start with like unit one which was something from nothing and it gives you a preview of the doctrine that you will learn it gives you skills and applications, and it kind of gives you just a nice overall idea of what you'll be learning in that unit and what your focus will be. And then down here at the bottom of the page, it lists the resources that you need, and um, it tells you, you know, where the location is. Like, you know, uh, activity pages are on the teacher's toolkit, which is back here at the very back. There is a CD that comes with each teacher's manual, and it has all kinds of extra activities that you can print out. Um, some of these we did, some of them we didn't, uh, and but all of them were great. It also has um, charts and maps that are also located on that toolkit CD. But um, so, anyways, so it, it lists all of that, and. I believe on the CD as well, they have printouts for you to do of the hymns just in case you need extra ones for whatever reason. So each unit has that uh, where you learn a hymn. Each unit then goes into you have a memory verse that you learn and you say that every day. Um, you, you work on part of the hymn. You start with the hymn and you learn the first verse. You say it and you sing it. Uh, and I think you clap it or something like that. And then you discuss what the hymn is about. You're not just learning a song. You're actually learning, you're 
doing kind of an in-depth study on what is this song talking about? Why are we singing this song? How does it relate to the theme that we're learning? What does it tell us about God? Uh, and what does it tell us about the world that we live in? And how does it support this doctrine or something like that? Um, all of these things are things that you will learn about the hymn that go with the unit. And you will start and you will learn verse by verse until you get to the end. Um, I think it's a verse a week or something, or every few days, something like that. And then alongside that, you will have a memory verse. Now, each unit, I believe, each unit covers... See, the unit one covers 20 lessons. And so uh, it is... It is quite in-depth. Yeah, and it is quite extensive. And let me see. Bear with me for just a moment. Okay, so my mistake there. Um, you learn a hymn. So the units are broken down into four subunits. You have unit 1A. 1B, 1C, 1D, uh, and that covers roughly, and that covers 20 lessons for unit one here in grade one, and each subunit is where you learn a different hymn, so there are actually um, more than just 10 hymns that you learn, so anyways, so then once you've practiced that, then you will have your memory verse, and, and each I believe, let's see here, each subunit has a different memory verse. Uh, and each subunit is roughly five lessons long. So that means that you have, um, you have five days roughly to learn uh, a memory verse, or however you choose to do it. Um, at the very beginning of, I believe, both the student book and the teacher's book, you actually have what they have prepared for you, which is an extensive um, lesson plan layout and a breakdown of their units and how they function and what you will need. It's a very good overview. See, this is unit one, and it has four subunits. And listed here, they have um, the memory verse for each, basically each week. Uh, each subunit will cover roughly a week's worth if you're doing them once a day. Um, and so it, it and it lists, lists very extensively the scriptures you're going to focus on, the different connections that you're going to make, the lesson titles, the work, book, the work text pages and then um, the memory verse that you're going to have. And there's one of those pages just like that for every single unit, and they are all color-coded for that week's, or that lesson, or that unit's color, where it matches the worksheet pages. And so it's all very extensively laid out, and um, it's just really well done. We really enjoy it when we did do the whole thing. It ended up at the time just being a bit too lengthy for our for my kids' focus at that point. Uh, they were, you know, five and seven, you know, newly five and newly seven at the time. And it was just extensive for them for time frame, for um, attention span, I mean. So, um, so you have the hymn and then you have your memory verse and then you will have um, a Sometimes they'll have a story to go alongside your biblical account that you'll read through, and they'll give another story that will illustrate the point and help them to connect to it. And then they will have the worksheet, and all of these things will be interwoven with various questions that they have listed in here. Um, so this whole page is, is just one lesson. There's your worksheet up here. And you have um, just discussion questions right here. 
and a biblical account, and they also have a summarized kind of version, paraphrase summarized version of the biblical account that you're going to be reading sometimes uh, to help you if you have smaller children, just to kind of help them, help you to not have to read such a large bulk and just to kind of condense it down for them. Um, and then they also have things like Science Connection, which is um, an optional, and they have it listed there as optional, uh, kind of extra thing that you can do to help the kids connect to the lesson. They'll do, I think they have science and I think math and art connections or something like that, where um, just extra things that you can kind of help connect your kids to the lesson through if your child learns in those ways, it learns differently and will uh, gain from those, then they're great. So anyways, uh, it's really a fantastic curriculum. And like I said, we've modified it just because the lessons did tend to run long for me and for my kids' attention spans towards the end, they would start to really lose interest. And I'm talking, um, with all of the discussions, with, with singing the song, working on the memory verse, reading the biblical account or the summarized biblical account, along with, sometimes it would have the uh, another little story uh, to illustrate the point, or sometimes it would be just the biblical point or the biblical account. So we would do the, the, the hymn, the memory verse, the biblical account and or story. Um, and then we would do the worksheet all the while weaving in various questions and I, it was it was i want to say by the time that we were done it, it was getting close to an hour and the kids enjoyed it but it was just too much and it was a bit of a strain on me just to just to pour emotionally for so long and then have them start to have behavioral problems because we were just sitting there for too long for them. And so it just ended up being too much. And especially if we wanted to do it every day and it kind of became discouraging. Um, so I guess that's a con about this. If you do follow each lesson to a T, um, because this is, I mean, this is first grade. This is aimed at I don't know what public school first grade is. What is that? Six to eight year olds, five to eight year olds, something like that. Five to seven year olds. Uh, and I, I just don't see them. Ha a lot of most kids at that age having an almost hour long type of attention span. And my kids have really good attention spans and they, they couldn't make it quite that long before we started snipping at each other because they'd start fiddling and playing around or I could tell that they weren't paying attention and I would get frustrated and I would get tired from just standing and talking for an hour. And I know I'm doing a 20 minute video, so it seems like I could talk forever, but I can't. Um, and so I would just getting more emotionally wrung out and just tired. And then I would need, you know, we would all kind of need a break from each other just to kind of go and breathe for a minute and then come back together. And it just became daunting. And then trying to do it every single day, um, it would end up becoming discouraging and we would actually find ourselves not wanting to do it. And so it was very much a shame to feel that way because we really enjoyed the worksheet. We really enjoyed the discussion. We enjoyed the hymn and everything. And so I just decided that I really, that we really like this and we can really benefit from it, but not in its purest structure. So we just boiled it down to what worked for us. And there were times when we would do the hymn and there are times when we would take the hymn out um, because we just, whatever reason, it just wouldn't work that day. And so there are times when we would do the memory verses and there are times when we would do memory verses that didn't, you know, weren't necessarily the ones that they did because of whatever reason that we found interesting or whatever. Um, and so, we found a way to make it work for us, but that's because we really liked it and there's a lot of value in it. And I think the beauty of it is the fact that we can do however, you go however in depth we want to or rein it back in on days when we just don't have the time or the energy, but we're still getting spiritually nourished because we are in the word, we're in it together and we're discussing it. 
And then we are doing a little activity that they get very excited about. They love these worksheets. They're very engaging. Um, they, they're very simple at this stage, but they, my kids love them. And so that is what we do for Bible. And I'm sorry if that was a little bit chaotic in the way that I shared that. I'm still working on that. But thank you for listening. And I hope that you found that helpful. And I hope that it encourages you to take a look at BJU Press because later you will see in one of our videos that we do BJU Press for English and we do BJU Press for heritage studies, which is like civics and history government kind of thing. Uh, and we really enjoy the structure that they have and the information that they present and the way that they do it. And so I just hope that that encourages you to take a look at them because I think they are a worthwhile company. I think the materials that they put out are very good and very God-based. And yeah, so thanks for listening and I'll see you next time on the threshing floor.